how to book flight on trip.com hello and welcome to our channel on this video i'm going to show you how you can book a flight on trip.com so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial and to create an account on trip.com you could also use my affiliate link below the description where i earn a small commission at no additional cost to you and by using the link you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up but before that, if you don't know what is Trip.com, it is a group limited, prominent global travel service provider, recognized as one of the largest online travel agencies in the world, in which Trip.com also offers a comprehensive suite of travel products and services catering to over 400 million users across more than 220 countries and regions. And also the platform facilitates bookings for flights, hotels, car rentals, and various travel experiences, boosting an extensive network of over 1.7 million accommodations and connections to more than 600 airlines and now to create an account just click the link in the description or alternatively you'd also click on the top right corner the sign in or register button right here and upon clicking on it you'll be able to be directed where it will show you in this pop-up window that you could also sign in using your email address using your google facebook and apple id in here but in this option i'm going to choose my google account and after signing in, you will not be able to see your result. And now below here, to start booking a flight on trip.com, you can also start choosing this flights option right here. Then just simply proceed here to choose what kind of ticket you want to purchase with here round trip ticket, one way, and even multi city ticket. And in those options, for instance, I'm going to choose round trip. And after that, below here, just simply choose your airport. And after that, just simply enter here the location that you're going to. For instance, I'm going to enter on Vietnam. So I'm just going to enter here Vietnam and choose Hanoi. But if you want to add more, you could also do so. And from here, just simply select your departure date and also your return date. So from here, just simply choose on this calendar the date of your departure and also the date of your return. For instance, my departure date is October 31 and November 7 is my return date. And after that, just simply choose here or select the exact number of passengers. For the ticket that you are purchasing, you could also click this plus button if you have children or infants on lap, and even adults in here, and choose what kind of ticket will be your economy flights, first class, business, and many more. But in those options, I'm going to choose this business class and click the search button in here to proceed. And upon clicking on the search button, you will be directed on this page, which will show you that you can simply choose here what kind of ticket do you want to purchase with your recommended or non stop first class and it will show you in here below some of the prices in here but on the top panel you could also click the sort by the sort either fastest departure earliest and many more or even choose the lowest prices in here so let's say in those options i'm going to choose the most cheapest which is this one right here by clicking the select button will automatically be directed to the next stage which is to choose the return ticket in here you could also do the same process of choosing the lowest price by clicking the select button again here. At this point, you could also choose either Business Essential or Business Flex. And it will show you in here the differences including the inclusion and the prices. But in those options, I'm going to choose this one right here, which is the cheapest. And upon clicking this book button right here, we'll be directed on this page in which it will show us in here the price details on the right side panel of our tickets that we just selected. Well, it will show us in here on the left side panel the departure date and even their turn date details and below it will show you about your tickets, package allowance and also the policies then below here just simply enter your given name and also your last name, gender, date of birth and nationality in this page and aside from that if you scroll down below here it will show you about the compensation of flight that you will also select with additional charges or if you want to avail the travel insurance if you want to you can select this one or choose this one option right here if you don't want to if you want or saving your money on this page. Now after filling out all the required information, you could also enter here the promo code, your email address, and any other details that are needed in here. So just proceed by clicking the next button if you're now done filling out all of the required information at this page. And upon clicking on it, it will show you again on this pop-up window, which is an offer about delay compensation, so you could avail if you want to. But I'm going to click no thanks. And after that, you'll not be able to see your result and as you can see, the next thing that you need to do is to simply select here the seat. And which as you can see in here, you can simply select your preferred. Such as if you want the seat near the window or even near the aisle. So from here, you can simply select in this page. 
So by clicking on it, just proceed to be simply to clicking the confirm button right here. But it will show you above details including how comfortable your seat is. So from here just do the same process of selecting your own seat or your location of your seating arrangement on this aircraft in here. So again just do the same process of selecting here and click the confirm button below. And now as you can see we have now successfully select here all of the seat selection that we prefer and upon clicking again the confirm button right here we can now proceed to go to the next step which is right here by clicking the next button and upon clicking on it will automatically be directed on selecting add-ons section or pages in here now as you can see you could also build additional baggage allowance if you want to but it will show in here the amount of personal item to re on baggage and check baggage that you're only required to carry upon departure and you could also avail it here an extra baggage allowance if you want to with additional charges now moving on if you scroll down below here you could also see the last check baggage protection in which you can check baggage will be protected throughout the flight by simply availing their offer which is with these prices by clicking this add button to proceed and after that below here you could also see your free promo codes such as this 12 percent off airport transfers 8 percent off attractions and tours 12% of car rentals and many more. Now it will show you in here on the right side panel also the price details, including the total amount that you need to pay. But on the left side panel, you could also select your add ons, including the VIP lounges. But it will show you in here the amount for its additional charges, in which it will reflect on the right side panel as VIP lounges. You'd also offset your flight's CO2 emission if you want to, but that's also offer additional charges. And now, if you're now done, just click this next step and final confirmation and upon clicking on it you will now be able to be directed on the next stage when to proceed just simply select your payment method such as if you're choosing credit or debit card to center here the credit card or debit card details then just simply click this pay button below here to proceed and after that you will now be able to book your flight with all of the details that you just selected now going back on this page right here if you also want to cancel your flights or bookings just click to my bookings option on the top panel by simply clicking this my bookings option you'll be able to be directed on this page where you could also click all your bookings and simply select what kind of bookings you want to cancel for example this one Cebu to Hong Kong by simply clicking on it will automatically be directed on the next stage or next page then just proceed by clicking this cancel booking button where you could also get a receipt if you want to then click the continue button to confirm the cancellation and after that, you'll now be able to see here that your bookings has now been cancelled. So now if you also want to go back to this page, you can simply scroll down and click delete if you want to. But overall, that is just basically how you can book flight on trip.com. Thank you.